Welcome to the Total Outdoors with the Yankee Cowboy. Now today in front of me on the bench, I got the Benelli Nova. It's a, a pump shotgun. Uh, I just went out this past Sunday, did some trap shooting. I haven't shot this gun in a while. And uh, I absolutely fell in love with it all over again. Uh, I was debating getting rid of this gun. You know, I was thinking about getting another semi-auto, a duck gun. Um, I'm, I'm not going to get rid of it. This gun is just, it's just awesome. It shoots well. I, I took a trap shooting. Ended up shooting a 23 right out of the gate. Um, I, you know, I shot two rounds of trap with it because I wanted to go down and shoot the MMP. Uh, I shot a 23 and a 21 with it, and it just, it just felt awesome. It felt great. Um, I want to do a quick video on how to take it down. It's not going to be a cleaning video. I'll do another uh, video on this particular uh, pump shotgun. But right now, I just want to do a nice uh, takedown video on this uh, here pump shotgun. I've done it on my semi-auto. It's time to do one for the pump. So uh, we're going to jump into that. Okay guys, I'm not sure how great the camera angle is, but we're going to go with it. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is safety check it. There's nothing in the chamber. It's all set. Uh, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is take the, the magazine tube cap that holds the forearm, the barrel, this whole assembly together. We're going to take the uh, magazine tube cap off. Now one thing I want to show quick on this and point out is this uh, this magazine tube cap has a tit on the very end of it and this tit is going to be used to take down the shotgun so you, you really don't need any tools in the field and to pull the pins out inside this lip there's a groove which I'll show you to grab the pin and you slide it out the whole disassembly is done with this with this cap so it makes things pretty easy it makes life uh, pretty easy so we're going to slide the barrel off barrels off We'll set, it up, we'll set it aside out of our way. Now, you're not going to be able to take the forearm off because there's two, these two guide arms here are locked into the bolt. So, what we're going to want to do first is, is take out the trigger pins. There's one here and there's one here. Now, this is where this magazine tube cap with that tit on there comes in handy. This is designed to take down the gun in the field. You know, if you had to do a repair, a jam, whatever, a quick cleaning. So... Let me situate the camera here a little bit so you can see it. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to push down on it. It'll pop down to the depth of the tit. Now if I tip it up, I'll see if I can show you guys here. See how they're, they're sticking up? Now inside here, as I said, there's a, there's a groove to pull this out. What you're going to do is it catches right on that pin, and you're able to pull the pin right out. Voila, pin comes out, catch the cap on the bottom in, in the groove, I'm going to drop that one on the floor, let me grab that, alright, we'll set that one aside, now you can pull, now you can pull your whole trigger trigger assembly right out, it's, gonna, it's a little tight, but it comes right out, here's your trigger assembly, spray it, lube it, clean it, whatever you got to do. Okay, we'll set that aside next to the barrel over here. Now, here's your bolt inside here. Now what you're going to need to do now is, is to lift these two arms up. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Let's see if we can get you a good shot of this. Okay, see there's an arm here. you got to lift this arm up and lift the other arm and slide the bolt back out of the way. Now, let's pan back out. Tip this back up. Now you'll be able to slide your forearm right off. See, these are the two arms I was talking about. See these grooves in here? They lock onto the bolt, which I'm going to take the bolt out next. We're going to put this aside with the trigger assembly and the barrel. See your bolt still lying down in there? What you're going to want to do now is, I'm going to get another tight shot of this because this, this is important. Bear with me. I'm a one-man camera crew, guys. Okay. See this front part here? What you're going to have to do now on this bolt is push in on that. See how, see how it slides in? That's going to slide in, and you're going to tip the back up. And once you tip this back up, she'll slide right out. Let me pan back out so you can see. 
what I'm talking about. See how this slides in and out? You have to squeeze this together and then tip the back up and, and pull it out of the receiver. Otherwise, it will not come out. Now, it's pretty clean in here, even though I, I shot a couple rounds with it. And uh, there's really no, no dirt to speak of in there. But here it is. It's pretty much stripped down, you know. There's, uh, there's not much left to it. Just a magazine tube, which I'm not going to take out the uh, stop in there, the shell stop. Just a receiver, you know, you'd spray it out, wipe it out, what have you. Now your reassembly, it's going to be the same thing. Let me prop it in here. See if I can get a, get a, uh, a better view. I really want to show you how this bolt goes in. Okay, guys, I want to get up close and personal with this on the reassembly. The reason you have to push in on this to get this uh, bolt back in is this head rotates where the firing pin comes out. And you have to push in on it to rotate it to get it to lock in. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to push in on it. It's going to drop right down and in. Now leave it all the way to the back. Let me see if I can get in a little tighter here, guys. Give you a shot of this. Okay. See, it's all the way to the back of the receiver. What that's going to do, that's going to allow you to put your your forearm back on and your guide arms to line up with these notches so we're going to slide this on next line up the holes your arms are going to come through now you'll slide your bolt forward lift the arms up and they'll catch see that's locked in there now perfect so that's all set let's back out Let me move the camera back for a minute guys get resituated here Okay, now with the forearm back on, the guide arm's locked in place, the bolt's all situated and locked in place, we can go ahead and put our trigger assembly back in. So we're going to take the trigger assembly, boom, pop it back in. Now one quick note, these pins, the trigger pins, one is longer than the other. The one closer to the forearm is the longer one. So what you're going to need to do is just uh, remember which one's longer. It's only going to fit in one side, so you'll know off the hop if you get it bad. And they only go in one way. It's like a nail head. Uh, one part of the pin is fatter and it's recessed. So you'll know exactly where it goes and which side. Pop it back in. You can go in by hand, no problem. Pop the other one back in. It's all set. Now what we'll do is take the barrel. Put our barrel back on. Boom, it's locked in place. Now we'll take our magazine tube cap. Screw it back down. And we got ourselves uh, a Benelli Nova back together. So hopefully this helped you guys out. I mean, uh, this is a great gun. Uh, that's why I want to do a takedown video on it. I'm not sure. I haven't looked on YouTube to see how many takedown videos there are. But we're going to be doing a lot more, you know, videos like that. Taking uh, the firearms down, cleaning them, you know, going over the different parts of them. What's important, you know, to clean and to watch out for, little things like that. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I want to give a quick shout out to, to uh, my buddy Dave. Check out his channel. It's uh, DGALLAG339. Um, he's, a, he's a biker like myself who likes to shoot and, you know, he's into the outdoors. He does a lot of beer reviews and, you know, he goes on bike runs and does various stuff. But uh, he's very informative. His videos are great. Check his channel out. Sub him. You know, give him some support. He's been on YouTube for a while. And uh, check his channel out. He's a good dude. So, questions or comments below, as always, thanks for watching the Total Outdoors with the Yankee Cowboy.